Hi, this is part 8 OSIR tutorial. In this video, we will discuss how to check JWT token. So previously in our application, we will write some authentication code. Uh, for example, we need to write code to store the user's information like um, email address and password. We need to store that information in our database. So when the user want to log in, they input their information and send it back to the backend. We check the database and validate the information is correct. And then we allow the user to access the resources in our application. But now with auth zero, we don't have to write that authentication code and we don't need to store the user's information in our database. So this is the diagram I draw. So when the user wants to log in our application, they send the login request. Our application will redirect the user to auth0.com. After the user input their email address and password, auth0 validate the information and give back the JWT token to our application. And then the user can access the resources in our application with the token. So now we are in our application localhost. If we click login, we are redirect to auth0.com and we input the details. Now we got login. Let's look at the inspect. Under the network tab, you can find the item called token. We click that and this is the preview of the response. You can see the response includes some information like access token, ID token, when it expired, and the scope, also the token type. What is access token? The value here is not human eye, but we can decode it. Go to jwt.io. We can paste the information here. The decoded access token include header and payload, and also the signature. We just focus on the payload, which include the data we need. We can see in the payload there are some claims, include sub, audience, time related information, and the scope. Similar, we can look at what information include in ID token. We paste it here. You can see the ID token include the user info like name, the email address, extra, extra. So what's the difference between access token and ID token? We can search for it. You can find ID token indicates that the user is authenticated and this token can be used by the other components in your application. However, in access token, it doesn't contain the user info, but it contains the audience and the other information, which can be used in the backend. So when should we use access token and when should we use ID token? You can find some info here. The ID token is more used for your web application, for example, your front end. And access token, because it contains the user's uh, access scope and the audience, it's more used for the resource server, for example, an API or an endpoint. If you look into the detail and compare the access token and the ID token, you can find the ID token didn't contain the audience and the scope, but it is contained in the access token. The audience is the resource server. You can find it in your APIs like this. 
In this video, we discussed what is GWT token and when to use access token and ID token. In the next video, we will discuss further. We will explore how to get JWT token based on different workflow. Thank you for watching.